This video is going to be part of my model toy miniature series. And I'm going to call this a model. This is a Steve Good pattern. He calls it city, city car. As you can see, it got a little cityscape behind it there. Kind of a little display motif. Uh, stay tuned and we'll look at the uh, material. I used a regular, uh, I think it's a light walnut. Came in a seconds package. He cut it with the, with the Baltic birch plywood. That's what this, the cityscape is made out of Baltic birch. But I had plenty of this wood. I thought I'd try to uh, smooth it up a little bit. And I think it turned out really well. So stay tuned and we'll look at the patterns and talk about the material and we'll cut it out and start putting it together. This is the pattern for this city car project. Uh, it's a Steve Good pattern. It's got several parts to it. He used Baltic birch for the entire thing. I'm using Baltic birch for the background and the base. And I'm, that's going to be painted black. Uh, he used Baltic birch for the body of the car. I'm going to use this seconds package wood. It's uh, uh, fairly pretty wood, but I, I just really wanted to make it out of something a little different and I wanted to get a contrast between the body and the fenders. So I got a lighter wood. It's a little bit of difference for, for the fenders and the grill and the hood on them. Now there are, if I can count there, there, there are eight, two, four, six, eight levels, uh, layers of this plus these two fenders. You got four like this, two like this, two like this. And he has a little legend here, because they're numbered, that in which order they come. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, one. So, these will be, have to be drilled. I've got axle, axle pegs coming. Uh, they should be here tomorrow, and i got some different wheels, because wheel, I've got axles and wheels, but they're not the right kind for this car. They're a little small. They're made for little cars made out of uh, three-quarter inch wood. And I've had uh, bought a bunch of those a long time ago and used them a lot on little trains and cars. This requires a little little fancier uh, wheel. Uh, he's got a pattern for some wheels if you don't have any. He's also got a, a spare that mounts on the back. You got any axle peg for that, and use axle pegs for the headlights. Put some headlights on that. So anyway, that's, uh, I should get this pretty well cut out, hopefully, the axle pegs, and I'll be here tomorrow, late tomorrow, when the mail comes. Uh, I've stacked, each one of these cuts two, this one also. I've stacked them. I try to be, I don't know if I'm lazy or efficient. I guess some will call it efficient. But I don't like repetitive cuts, if I can help it. I like things to match a little better, if I can get them to match. And... This is basically freehand cutting, and you never cut exactly the same, even following a pattern. Although it's good enough to match up 99% of the time. So anyway, we're going. We got to drill a bunch of holes. Most of it's in this Baltic birch. Got to drill all these. That's not a big deal. So that'll cut fairly quickly. It's a lot of repetitive cutting, but uh, it'll cut fairly quickly. It's easy to cut. We've got holes to drill in this one, and holes to drill in the in the grill, in the radiator grill. And so that's, it's not real complex, it's just a lot of pieces. Let me get the holes drilled, and I'll get me a number five blade to cut these thicker pieces, and we'll get to cutting on it.
I got this all cut out and uh, what I'm going to do now is it, it, they're numbered and he has an order here 2-2 two, two in the middle, 3-3 three, three, and then 2-2 two, two again and then 1 on the outsides. So that's the order I've got it in. I'm going to start right here in these two in the middle, line them up and glue them. And then as I move out of each layer, I'll clean, clean the pieces and make sure they're all aligned and sanded down smooth to match each other before I go to the next one. So I got the first two ready and I'm going to glue those together. Well, there's the finished product. Uh, kind of like the way it turned out. I uh, stained these wheels a darker color. I left this stuff natural and I stained that a little bit. And I had to do a little work on these pegs because the uh, holes weren't exactly the right size. I had to plug the holes and smooth them off and re drill a couple of them because uh, they weren't fitting right and wasn't wanting to set level. They wanted to rock and the wheels didn't want to turn anyway. I got that working and uh, try to make it a little two-tone deal and so I think I succeeded I had to darken this a little bit to get a little more contrast so this is this is this week's model video and I hope you enjoyed that I hope you like it if you do like it hit the like button and if you're not subscribed well hit the subscribe button I'd appreciate it uh, I've finally gone over a thousand but I'll take all of them I can get so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.